Hello, it's Jay here again. Welcome to another tutorial. So, we're still continuing on with the opponent AI. And the first thing we're going to do is come to the enum block. And we're going to come at the top. We're going to say initialize and add a comma. Then we're going to come to opponent hit head. We're going to add a comma, enter, wait for, hit, animations, and no comma on this one, because it's the last one now. And we'll create our switch block. So I'm going to put mine here. Under the void update, we're going to say private and we want our enumerator we'll give it a naming convention of opponent fsm we'll open and close brackets we'll open and close again come inside this second set we'll say while open and close brackets open and close again we'll come inside this first set of brackets and we'll add true we'll come inside this second set of brackets we're going to say switch open and close brackets we'll open and close again inside this first set and we want opponent and let me have a look i think it's ai state we called it so let's just come here opponent AI state we'll come inside these brackets now and we'll create our block itself so case and then we want opponent AI dot opponent AI state dot initialize now this time we want a full colon on the end of this line we'll come below and we're going to say initialize we'll open and close brackets close the line off break close the line off don't worry about the red arrow we're going to fix that in a moment so these two lines normal semicolons this line a full colon so let's just copy that all three lines and we'll paste in four more times giving us five in total and let me just get rid of that empty line We'll copy and paste in the next state, which is opponent idle. We need to do that twice. And for the next one, and we've just got to keep going. And one last one to do. So we have two red errors, it's just because we've not created those functions. So I'm just going to copy the line that says private void for opponent idle. And let me just bring that back. Okay. And again, we'll take initialize, we'll paste it in as the name and in the debug log. As you can see, the red error's now gone here. Let's copy all of that and we'll put it in order. So it needs to come after opponent hit head. 
And now we'll create our wait for hit animation function. So let's just paste that in and we'll paste it in again. And we need one last line for this switch block. So here, after the first close bracket, we're going to say yield written sorry intellisense seems to have a mind of its own at the moment so yield return null close the line off and we'll just save that there for the moment and we'll come to the initialize state and we'll just switch straight to the idle state now we will have more code for this function but that's going to come at a later date so just for now just so the function and this script is working we just switch straight to opponent idle so we want opponent ai state is going to equal the name of the script Opponent AI state, so the name of the state blocks, the enum block, and then dot, and the state we want to change to, which is in this case is the idle. So let's just put that into the comments. And we'll say set opponent AI state to opponent idle. And just like the previous videos, we're in the middle of one of the hottest heat waves since decades ago. So You'll have to forgive if you can hear traffic in the background. I hope it's not too distracting. But it is so incredibly warm at the moment. I just simply cannot record without some sort of uh, at least having the window open. So we're going to come to these two functions. Opponent hit body hit head. And we're just going to paste that line in where we switch state get rid of the empty lines and what we'll do is switch to the wait for hit animation function so we'll just paste that in there let's paste it in at the end of the line and i'll probably tidy up these comments off um off camera you could always break up the line if you wished to do it that way and yeah in fact let's do that now so we'll just say let's just cut that we'll come to the first line let's paste it in set opponent AI state to equal Let's come to this line now. And we'll just say set AI state to equal the wait for animations function. And we'll just copy and paste that in the other function. Just to keep everything nice and neat. And I think we'll leave it here for this lesson. We've got a lot of the basic code in place. And actually we can. Um, let's have a look. There's one more line of code we'll get into these states. We might as well get them in in this lesson. And what we can do is just call the appropriate actual function. So in this case, let's call 
Opponent hit body animation. Open and close brackets. Close that line off. Call. I'll just paste that naming convention in. Function. Let's just copy and paste that line in hit head. And we'll just change out the naming conventions to hit head animation. And we'll change the comment as well. Let's save that off. As I said, we're going to leave it here for now. Because we've got some like little bits of basic code in place and in the next lesson we'll pick this up and we'll start fleshing out the functions again some more. But I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now.